invite the Secretary of State to confirm that current claimants of universal credit will face losses next April as a result of cuts to the work allowance? And can he explain to the House why there's no transitional protection for universal credit like there is for tax credit recipients? Well, I thought I'd made this clear, but I'll make it clear again to the Honourable Lady. Um, for those who are already on universal credit right now, through the additional resources in the Flexible Support Fund, the advisors will support them to ensure that their status remains the same. For those who are transitioning from tax credits across to universal credit, they are transitionally protected, uh, as have already been stated. Mark Menzies. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like